four pawns per side. Zero worries for either player. And uh, I was just, was Anish just like staring down Wesley, saying <laughs> it's a draw, mate? <laughs> is, he, is he drinking a Yoohoo? Is that chocolate Isn't milk? Isn't it one of those... Yeah, chocolate milk, right? It's uh, like a cocomel, right? They have this special brand in Holland. Chocomel. Oh, sorry. I, I, <laughs> my apologies to all Dutch people. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else could hear the producer in our ear correcting our pronunciation there. Uh, I'm just going to pretend it's a yoohoo because it gives me you know, flashbacks to the movie Big Daddy. Uh, but no, it's a chocomel. And Anish Yuri is hovering over his pawn. He doesn't want to blunder, so he's thinking, is the move H5? Yes, he finally plays it. He wants to make sure his pawn is safe and sound over there. And, and that's the thing, is you don't want to take it for granted that you'll make the draw. He knows it. Wesley knows it. This game is very even. And I am the biggest critic of draw offers. I really am against them. I think positions should be played out to a point where they're easy to explain to an audience so that they're not left scratching their head, being like, sorry, why did this game end? They're there's all these pieces on the board. This one is easier to uh, tell the what's going on. The rook on e5, it covers everything. The a5 pawn, the h5 pawn. If the rook on a4 ever moves, then you let this a pawn rumble up the board. So this rook is perfectly placed. The rook on e5 is staying put. The draw is agreed. These players split the point. Anish Giri at least uh, stays behind Nordi Bustar by a half point. And Wesley so. He stays a full point behind Abu Zatarov, and he just got nothing going, Yobi. He never had a chance in this game to score more than that half point. Yeah, it did seem like Anish actually got some great preparation in. He, he got the position that I think was actually slightly better for Black, and Anish actually traded down into this very level endgame. And uh, this position completely drawn. I mean, both sides will just be maintaining the balance, as Robert indicated, and a fair result indeed. And there we can see the players analyzing and discussing what continuation they could have played. I mean, one thing that I was curious about, you know, whether they would be discussing Anish actually capturing the knight with his queen rather than retreating the light square bishop. That's definitely what they're talking about. Actually, I saw a point in the D7 square. I mean, maybe it's my uh, vision being bad. I do wear glasses, but I thought that they're pointing to the D7 and B7 squares. So that moment was critical. Uh, and look at this. The arbiter is like, come on, guys. You know uh, what to do. Please go analyze your